Did you know that you can uh, mix your watercolors and fine liners and actually use the fine liner to create that focal point so you know that people are actually looking at what is important in your art piece? This is actually a great tool to create focal points and uh, I'm gonna show you in this video how to do it and what to kind of just be careful about. And we're going to sketch some daffodils! The spring in the office and mm, I wish you could smell that. It's wonderful. Now I uh, started a bit beforehand and uh, just did a very loose sketch of uh, daffodils. And I have my fine liners here. And this is about creating a focal point. And I want my focal point to be up here. So this is uh, where we're going to put our main love here. Um, I'm going to use a zero one to kind of create a base for this. And uh, I'm not even sure I'm going to put any up here. Um, maybe, but that's not going to be a lot. And um, first of all, I'm just going to put in some lines here and there to kind of get our shape here uh, on the on the Daffy. I love Daffy's. It's so cute. And um, they just started having them in the in the stores now. And I uh, that's kind of a instant to me sign of spring that you can finally find daffies in the, in the stores i love that um so just a quick outline here not following all the all the watercolors but just kind of going with the flow here then i want to add a little bit of detail lines to the stem here and you can see how by adding the line to this it actually makes it stand out quite a bit from the rest down here sorry from the rest down here but if i was to carry this line all the way through it would uh, stand out too much so it's not the stem that is going to stand out, it is the flower head, of course. And that is why I haven't taken the, the line all the way through. So it kind of melts into this um, mix of branches and grasses and stuff. So going up again, we want our focal point to be up here. So now we kind of separated the flower head from this area and also we have created a focal point already, which is this flower instead of this flower, um, because we have this fine liner added to this one. So now we're going to add some details. And um, we, can, uh, we can start by just adding a few details to this center flower or the center area of the flower here. And of course, we want that to be the focal point, uh, com the complete focal point. So this is where we want to add the most detail. So here we can uh, kind of go crazy, just adding details. And we are going to do some shadowing in here as well, so we can make that really pop. I'm not going to add more. Even if it is the focal point, you don't want to overdo it. And then, of course, I want some texture to the leaves here, or the petals. Um, keeping it a little bit more detailed in here than out here, which makes, again, the viewer guided into the flower. Um, and creating that focal point. And make sure you are shaping your lines so they kind of curve um, as the flower petal would. Also pointing inwards towards the 
main focal point here. So we have some details here and we don't want this to stand out completely. We want it to be the focal point, but right now there's a lot, a lot of detail here, a little bit less detail here, but none at all here. And I do want a little bit of detail to this as well. So I'm just adding a little bit of lines to part of the stem here. And it doesn't have to be much, but just a little bit will help it to connect with this. So try to see if you can create some transitions between nothing at all and a lot so you kind of guide the viewer into your sketch now we use the zero one for the outlines the zero zero five for the details and now we can use the zero two to strengthen and again create even more focus um, because now we are creating okay wait i have to take another zero two this one is my kids broke this one. Um, here you go. So now I'm going to add some darker lines. And this again will create some more depth and some more focus. You can use quite a lot of different tools to create focus. Um, contrast and uh, values are one of them. So just by adding different uh, detail levels and adding this contrast will really help guide the viewer into this piece. And of course, you could add more detail in here if you, um, if you want it with watercolor, because you don't have to kind of rely all the way on, on just the... Sorry. <laughs> On just the fine line, of course, you can definitely go with details in the watercolor as well. Uh, just adding a bit more of the zero one here, and uh, just to create that that um, edge here. Um, I'm not even sure it needed that, but now it hasn't. <clears throat> and again. Now we want to think about that transition um, again, because now we have all the darkness in here. And you can see how that really uh, made this area pop compared to the rest. But add a little bit of darkness here and there to the surrounding petals, but not much. You could, I think I would just add it here in the front. Maybe just a little bit down there but mm, that is it so we kind of we are being super tactical about how to place our different uh, the different sizes of watercolor sorry fine liners to create this focal point and you can see how we are now in uh, we now have this very clear focal point here and uh, it's kind of kind of separating this area from the rest so we have a very clear, uh, I'm just going to do that so you can see the rest here. We have a very clear separation between this flower and also the stem, and uh, which is kind of melting into this area and separating it from the rest. And I'm not saying that you have to completely separate one flower from the rest, but you could also add just a little bit of fine line of, to this or keep if you have more than two you can um, choose the area that you want people to look and then keep some completely without fine liner but then have some areas um, with just a little bit kind of just the zero one or uh, the zero one and the zero zero five something like that but make sure you choose where you want people to look and uh, it'll be a lot easier to uh, to the viewer if well if you do that so that was 
a clear focal point in eyeliner. I hope that was some inspiration as to how to use your fine liner to uh, create a focal point. And of course you can uh, you can use either watercolor or fine liner or a mix. That is all up to you and your own personal style. But if you're curious about using or uh, mixing these two uh, mediums together, I actually have a freebie. It's called What Comes First? Liner Wash. It's one of the most common questions I get and uh, it actually depends a lot on the subject in front of you. So uh, you can uh, check that out. I'm going to put a link below and um, here I'm just going to share the pros and cons on using uh, liner wash first and of course how I approach it with different flowers. So uh, you are more than welcome to check that out. And just have a wonderful day. Subscribe, sub subscribe, subscribe, and uh, like. And if you have questions, then just ask them here below and I'll get back to you. Hello and goodbye. You can't say that. Okay, I'm just going to say goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> have a great day.